Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Aisha Butterfly. So today's video is going to be things that I knew before studying fashion. So it doesn't matter what fashion course you're doing, whether it be fashion design, fashion promotion or fashion buying, this is all still really relevant. And if you're indecisive like I was before studying fashion, then this is the video for you as I definitely, definitely wish that I did have a video like this when I was deciding on whether to study fashion or not. And a little background about me, I'm currently a second year fashion student at Manchester Metropolitan University and for me I did a foundation year and in my foundation year I did choose fashion design and technology and um, the way it works in my university is we did a rotation so they allowed us to try all the, fas all the fashion related courses such as fashion promotion, fashion buying and merchandising and fashion design so each semester you would move around into a different subject and this is to ensure because obviously you're foundation students they want to make sure that you're going to go onto the right course so that you've made the right decision which I found really really amazing. I did enjoy my foundation year although I didn't really like see the point in it but I did have to do it because I came from like a law background before deciding to change subjects so I needed a foundation year to be able to get on the course and during the foundation year I was actually a little bit torn between fashion buying and merchandising and fashion design because I did really enjoy fashion buying and it does have a really good like career aspects there as well but I did end up going for fashion design just because it's what I had my heart set on because I wanted to be able to be creative um, during the whole process. So before I get started on the video, today's sponsor is Amber Students and they are an online student accommodation provider and they are like one of the biggest in Southeast Asia and they're very popular in countries like Australia, United States, UK. It's about to be a new year, it's about to be a new academic year soon in October and September so it's very very easy to use that platform and the first thing that you have to do is you just have to search what you're looking for whether it's an ensuite, a shared apartment, a shared house and you can also adjust it so you can either go from high to low, you can change your preferences on there and it is very very flexible so the second part is you would be able to finalize it. So you're gonna get around the clock help. They're gonna help you with any searches you're struggling with. If you have any like disabilities or if you have any just personalized issues that you would need help with, they are able to help you with that as well as it's also extremely COVID safe and they will offer a lot of freebies for you to help you get settled at university. It's actually quite exciting. I wish I had something like that. It's a little bit like, you know, the stuff that you get when you go to freshers just to help you settle in at university. And they also do offer help for students that do need free visas and international students. So this is like open worldwide, their worldwide accommodation. Um, if you're from America, you wanted to study in the UK, they would also help you with your visas and stuff like that so that you can settle in nicely at university. And last but not least, all the paperwork will be finalized and they would help you with that also. You are also able to have live viewings as well as face-to-face -face viewings just to make sure that you're absolutely happy with your room and yeah that's amber students i'll definitely leave like a link in the description for you guys so that you can check them out because i know like going to university is overwhelming and this would just make the process so much easier because i remember when i was going into uni the whole accommodation process was really difficult because you don't know like are you gonna like the people you're living with and is it gonna be to your taste and it's very overwhelming but i just think the way amber students has made it really easy for you to be able to get settled in as well as have a great experience at university so i'm gonna get straight into the video on the things that i wish i knew before studying fashion design so the first one is foundation yeah do you need a foundation yet i personally don't feel like i needed it because i already I'm naturally creative, I already come from like a bit of an arts background, um, so I don't think you need it, but honestly it looks amazing on your applications for when you want to get a job. They love to see that you did a foundation year because they know that you have covered the basics and you have been trained properly and you have the right sort of qualifications and things like that. Um, it just always looks good, but if you if it's like an extra expense that you don't want to spend money on, just forget about it, it's not the end of the world. I personally 
wish I didn't do it because it was a bit of a waste of time but yeah it does look good and it's gonna look good when I finish university so that's good news for me so the next part is fashion is very expensive you're gonna need a lot of tools you're gonna need a macbook they prefer a macbook just because of the software you're gonna need things like photoshop illustrator you're gonna need adobe softwares which is like i'm pretty sure you can get that on pc but i just know that they did mention when i started you need their preferred they preferably would like you to have a macbook which is you know a thousand pounds plus um yeah that's already expensive you're gonna need sewing machine mannequins tools like scissors sewing needles snips on pickers pattern masters things like that and you're also gonna need to purchase fabric for every um new project because you're likely to be making unless you're not on fashion design and you're on fashion promotion then you don't need to worry so much about the design and equipment but fashion design in particular is a really expensive subject uh, so yeah just keep that in mind because you will need to buy fabrics and yeah yeah so that's the second part that you need to keep in mind so the third one is you'll be teaching yourself a lot one thing that I have learned from university is you're going to be teaching yourself a lot you are on your own it's not going to be like college it's not going to be like secondary school where everyone's babying you and telling you oh please do this and chasing you up to do your homework they're not going to chase you this is entirely up to you if you don't get your degree they don't care so that's why you do have to kind of grow up a little bit when you go to university because there's nobody no one's going to pester you no one's going to force you it's up to you whether you want the degree or you don't want the degree so you do have to sort of gain your independence and sort of like get a grip get a grip and just do the work like that's all i can say to you get a grip do the work and just be focused um you're also gonna need like youtube is gonna be your best friend google youtube is gonna be your best friend because whenever i've been stuck and i didn't really get much help um i went on youtube like oh how to do this or just going on like reddit or like student room and just listening to other people's like how they've dealt with certain situations that are new to me has been really helpful so yeah um the fourth one is you have to be really independent and motivated which is like following from my last point is you have to be really motivated you have to put in so much hours it's not enough to just show up to uni outside of uni you have to put on a ridiculous 50 plus hours i think i think some unis are like 70 hours but you have to put in a lot of hours a day which can end up being like i don't know an extra five ten hours each day on doing your work if it's just like either research learning skills um reading you have to put in those hours if you want the results that you want to see so that's another thing nobody tells you <laughs> it's not enough to just show up you also have to do the work i think you probably you do way more work outside of class than you do in class um yeah um number five is you should network be kind to everyone make friends well i'm not saying be friends with everyone but be kind and friendly because the people that you go to school with you never know when you finish school they could be the next biggest designers they could be the next biggest directors or whatever and you will need those connections for when you want to get a job or they might need you so it's always important to keep in touch with your classmates because you could help each other out in your careers and yeah it's just nice and um, so number six is do you actually need to study fashion to get a fashion job the answer is no not really but you do stand a much much better chance um because if i was a recruiter um wanting to get someone to do a job i would want i would choose some of a qualification over somebody without a qualification but at the same time experience and like i said networking is important so if you if i was to hire someone that doesn't have a qualification i would need to see like they have loads of experience and they're also very knowledgeable and they're also like just their persona is also very they're very easy to work with nice to work with stuff like that really does matter so no a qualification isn't everything a degree isn't everything but if you're not going to have it then you also need to find other ways to make yourself stand out and that could be through the experiences you have your character a good portfolio things like that so the final one is it is harder than a regular course i don't care what anyone says people think oh you do fashion you're just going to uni to dress nice and wear nice outfits um i think in foundation year first year i was 
in that headset like oh let me wear the coolest outfits and let me come in the best you know my best stuff now i'm in second year going to third year i'm like i come in leggings a plain t-shirt a hoodie joggers crocs i <laughs> i don't care literally i come as comfortable as possible so i can focus in first and second year not first and second year sorry foundation first year i came in makeup now i go to uni with no makeup my hair back comfy clothes do my work go because no one is there i'm not there to impress anyone anymore and i know it's kind of hard to not care what people think because it's like you're going to a new uni you want to make a good impression but i think maybe after your first year make your good impression and then focus but i do think fashion is harder than a regular course like for instance fashion design you're not only just writing essays you're also making you're also learning new softwares like photoshop adobe like illustrate you're learning so much new skill you're learning pattern making you're learning how to sew you're learning new techniques for me because <laughs> i was doing chronology before honestly chronology was probably way easier there was just you do your essays you do your reading you do your exam you call it a day with fashion you have a load of work to do a load of making to do pattern work then your portfolio then you have to do boards you have to do essays sometimes it's a lot of work so i would say don't be choosing it because oh it's easy fashion school <laughs> go and dress up and look nice it's not that so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe so i know you guys might also ask about my hair because i do get quite a lot of questions about my hair so this hair is from elfin hair and it's the 4x4 hd lace bob and this is how it looks for me and all i've done is bleached the knots, knots customized it and did my edges and yeah i do hope you guys like it i will definitely link it in the description for you so that you can go and purchase the hair if you want to and yeah that's it for this video if you do like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have any questions for me don't forget just message leave a comment or just message me on instagram or any of my social medias which i'm going to attach and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching lots of love to you bye bye